But when someone undergoes this outward expression of identifying with the death of Christ and the resurrection of Christ, that's what <coughs> the signal we've been given for <coughs> all those who observe that person is now part of the family. Amen. That person is a Christian. Why? Because it's not just because they're a nice guy. No, it's because they went through this outward expression of something that occurred in their heart that man cannot see. That's right. Like only God knows their heart. Amen. But God has given us something to express ourselves outwardly in identifying with the world and saying, or uh, 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 not identifying with the world, it's it is setting ourselves apart from the world and saying, I <coughs> am a Christian. Whether it's the believers that observe it or the unbelievers that observe it, it is an outward expression for all those who observe and to recognize the work of God in the person's life. And so that's what we're celebrating today is Matt, through his already existing faith in Christ that he came to a few weeks ago, now is the time when we get to observe this outward expression that he's showing to us today that says, I am am a Christian. I am in the family. I, too, was lost, but I'm found. And it was something that all the other Christians in here can identify with. And so the scriptures say in 1 Corinthians 12 how we are baptized all into one body. And when preaching through 1 Timothy, it's all been all about the local church, the importance of church membership. What does that mean? What does it mean to be accountable to one another and to support one another? And what it means to treat how we treat one another. In 1 Corinthians 12, it's about the, the body of believers in, in how we serve one another. And it has that statement in there, we were baptized into one body. And whether a person is a part of this local church or not, they are a part of the body, the universal church of all those who have professed faith in Jesus Christ. Amen. So every single baptism is significant to the body of Christ. That's because right. even the angels recognize every single person that repents of their sin. And so should we. So Matt, you profess, you place your faith in Christ for forgiveness of sins. Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Absolutely. Awesome. And I have the privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let's just turn this way. Let's cross it. Yeah, this way. But you do come this way, though. Well, okay. take a step forward. <laughs> if you want. Yeah, this water is really warm, by the way. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want, hang on, stand up. So you get across your arms. I'm going to hang on to you. We're going to go back and extend at the knees. Okay. All right. Don't You've buried me. of Christ. Get to Christ. Thank you. 